Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Pinterest is acquiring the Yes, the AI-powered e-commerce platform co-founded by Stitch Fix alum Julie Bornstein. The Yes has the largest of branded fashion assortment. The consumer comes in and answers some quick and fairly straightforward but high signal questions that help us understand her. The entire platform and shopping experience adapts to each user, so every customer is shopping a store built around them. News Source, Fashionista, Surprising News Out of the Plus Size Sector, Shopping Platform Dia Company announced it had acquired luxury retailer 11 Owner A. 11 Owner A launched in 2017 with the lofty aim of bringing high-end fashion to the often ignored plus size customer. In an effort to sweeten the pot, the retailer offered to foot the cost of pattern making and fitting in the extended sizes, which is regularly cited or used as an excuse by designers as an expensive roadblock to inclusive sizing. Eleven Owner A has thrown fashion shows at New York Fashion Week, collaborated with influencers like Nicolette Mason and introduced its own in-house private label. The site carried pieces from designers already offering plus sizes, like Brendan Maxwell and Christian Siriano as well as helping labels like Carolina Herrera and La Linea dip their toes into extended sizing. Dia Company has made the inclusive sizing movement a key component of its business, working with the CFDA to fund plus-size fashion education programs and supporting smaller designers with a specially dedicated holiday marketplace. News Source, Fashionista, the Positron 3D printer is designed by Kralin 3D, and it prints upside down is super lightweight and not a gimmick. Since the printer is intended to be portable and quickly assemblable the creator wanted the center of gravity as low as possible, and the gantry to be as minimal as possible. By limiting anything above the base to a single axis Z in this case, they have reduced weight and complexity there considerably. The base has some neat tricks too it's highly portable. It fits inside an empty filament box and can be assembled in 60 seconds. That's pretty impressive for something with a print volume of 180 by 180 by 180. Crayolin 3D have released all the design files and code for anyone to create and sell, as long as they are credited properly. News source: Crayolin 3D YouTube. Unfortunately, it has taken a lot longer to get augmented reality glasses to consumers than everyone expected. For the past seven years, Lumis, a small company in Israel, Every two years show the latest advances. Every year the glasses get brighter, lighter, more efficient, smaller, and more. Here, in video, is Loomis head of marketing showing me its latest displays and you see just how big an improvement it has made and talks about assisted reality which is more like small text information that shows up in your view. They call it data snacking. The estimated release for our glasses where you can see digital information displayed over the real world think HoloLens and Google Glass is 2024, but with the chip shortage it could slip. Not to be confused with the product Apple will bring out next year which is more in the arena of virtual reality, augmented reality glasses are still a bit away. News source, YouTube, with a cult-like following, A4 Seat DeLorean F has been revealed. Originally designed by Giorgetto Gigero and launched in 1981, the DeLorean DMC-12 was and still is seen as a forward-looking car. With its stainless steel body panels and gullwing doors, the vehicle became widely popular thanks to the Back to the Future films, where it made memorable appearances as a time machine. More than four decades after its debut, DeLorean Motor Company has partially unveiled an electric new iteration of the vehicle. Yes it has the iconic gullwing doors. News source, design boom, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Knit podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to su-